Hey everybody, McKnight here. We're back with Wargroove. We're back with the heckin' good boy, Caesar. Let's get straight in there. Alone in the woods, Caesar finds some villagers in need of aid. He's a heck. He must be a heckin' good boy. Ah! Outlaws, help! Hand over your valuables, and no one will get hurt. Sniff, sniff, sniff. What have we here? Be off with you. Can't an outlaw make a dishonest living in these woods without being hounded by armored beasties? He's trying to get all the dog puns in there. Look at that heckin', heckin' good boy's turning into a bad boy. You don't intimidate me. He intimidates me. Yeah, me. Just get your villager back to the camp and lock him up, will ya? Heckin' good boy gives chase. Look at that majestic papa. Look at him! Just look at him! Oh my god! Wow, the commander brought us to tumble down fortress. <laughs> Imagine being that guy. He's like, yep, my commander's a pop. Interesting. We better explore. Be all the outlaws. Okay. Look at this majestic good boy. Uh, need more pups like that in the army. I know we have service dogs and stuff, but... Can that guy... Yes, he can move there, so we will crit the gate. Crit the heck out of this gate, so we can get this good boy in there. Look at that. Straight in there with the, the good boy. Let's learn a little bit about him. He's Queen Mercer's dog and Cherrystone General. And a very, very, very good boy. I told you he was a good boy. Heckin' good boy. Uh, so where do we put these scouting pops? They look like... Oh no, there's some bad boys. Not really bad boys, because all poppers are good boys. They're all good boys, really. Oh no. <laughs> Did you see his little face at the corner? Next time that comes up, let's check out the corner at the the where the health bar is. There's that one down a wide point there. There he is look. Go look after the corpse. No, a puppers. Oh, is anyone? It'd be alright. They should take it. Yes. Look at that. There, look at his face now, there in the corner. What a good little boy. What a good little boy. Can we. We're gonna have to take them out. Then we'll get the pikemen in. That. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh Caesar. Can we see anything? No, we can't see anything. What about this good boy? Can he see? Oh, we can see a pikeman. One shouldn't be a problem. Oh, he's trying it. What a general. What a general. Let's see around the corner. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. I don't know if that puts pop in danger. Hopefully it won't. We're all about not putting a pop in danger. I think he's, uh, might need some reinforcements. 
see if the AI will make a decision on whether to attack pop or ooh, they've got archers. Things now got a little bit tricky. No! 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 I was hoping to heck and bamboozle them. Okay. But this arc just is quite slow. Hopefully that doesn't affect our overall score too much. I imagine it will though. Oh, it's going to do loads of damage. Get in there. His loyal bodyguards. Look at that. Look at them loyal bodyguards. Tech that good boy at all costs. What's this guy got for us? Not a lot. Tough, I'm not gonna lie, it's tough. What is in this room? Oh, the villagers. Oh. Prisoners. Commander Caesar has inspired them to fight. Yes, he has. Caesar's still agitated. There must be more prisoners that need our help. He's got the heckin' good boy sense. This door likely leads to the main hall. Right, and who knows what's inside. Probably better to free all the prisoners before we head in there. Okay, thanks. Thanks, uh, kind of tool tip. Oof. We may have advanced a little bit too far. I wonder what his groove is. I wonder what, they, I wonder what his groove actually is. Oh no, they're going for us. This could be bad. Yes, it is quite bad. This could be really bad. There's still one left. Caesar, you're you're glowing. This is a heckin' good boy, that's why. Oh, his groove must be fully charged. He looks so inspiring. Inspiring is right. Caesar's groove inspires adjacent spent units to have a second go. Oh really? He's got that power. In that case. He crits. Now attacking. So where can he move? He moved to there. So let's try and portion this out so we can get lots of goes. If we do this right, if we do this, if I do this right, we should. Pipeman's not going to get a go, but that's fine. Inspire. I mean, the battle cry. He gave the awoo. They've got to run through a brick wall for him now. Look at that. Look at that. How could you not be inspired? Oh, that a good boy. We're a little bit stuck here though. I suppose we can do that, take that out. It's one less for us to worry about. Wait there, try and get some sort of grip. And then end the turn. Hmm. 
these pesky archers, man. Caesar's not happy. Caesar's not happy. Caesar to there, take the archers out. Oh no, he can't. No, you lied to me. I suppose it didn't really lie to me, did it? It's just the range of movement wasn't as grand as I was hoping. It's alright. We shall go to Plan B. I don't know what that is, I ain't come up with Plan B yet, but we'll go to it. Wait there. Because then the archer's got to move. What about making the AI make them decisions? Hmm. Okay. We press on. We take them out. Simple as that. Buy some more, more villages. Brilliant! All prisoners free, and up for a fight. We've got an archer as well. Seems there are still prisoners trapped in the fortress. We have to find them. We certainly do. It's going to struggle for him to catch up. Need to regroup a little bit. I want one pikeman. Correct me if I'm wrong, but these crit next to a commander. So, that was not, that was not what I was hoping for. If in doubt, send the archers in. Don't send the arch, don't send the, don't send the swordsman to the archer's job is what I was meant to say, but it didn't come out fast enough. Travel too far away from me. Just in case somebody gets into trouble. I really don't want to be losing too much more. Caesar should hold strong. Look at that. Boy. It's going to be the sacrificial squad, I think. Didn't quite work. Well, I wanted it to. Well. Getting sneaky with the 
torches. Yeah, I played that massively oh. wrong. Yeah, I should have put pop in between as many as I could. They're playing it in my own game, sneaking around the corner. Sneaky AI is sneaky. Oops, strong. Hmm. I can't have many units left in South Shore. The entrance. Interesting. What? Oh, there's got a spearman. Wipe these guys out. Yeah. Your longbows are no match for our crossbows. the sacrificial team so oh man they've got swordsman as well <laughs> what do they got for us? Yeah, a little bit Popper seems to regenerate his health I've only just noticed that maybe that was mechanic in the game that I've just ignored unless it's specific to this mission because I can't build any more units it might be This is some smash with his ultimate going on. That's a bit, that's a bit rough there to stand there, but hey ho. Hey ho. We'll wipe them out. Hope to just save the day. Those were the last prisoners. We freed everyone. We're fine. <laughs> now that everyone is free, we should enter the main hall and finish off these cutthroat outlaws. Indeed we should, but first, we can see what we're dealing with. I think everybody's stuck in here at a minute. Everybody's stuck because Popper's in the way. My dog often gets in the way. He'd be like wanting to get to the fridge or something, he'd just be stuck there at the back door. The door will be open. You know how they have that, um, either they want to go out, they don't want to go out, or they sniff the air to see whether there's a lot of sniffing of the air. Or it'd just be lying on the floor and you just can't get round. You have to pay the belly rub tax. Hey, hey. We need to create a bit of a... Like a funnel. Funnel of me thinks. Keep the arches at the back. How can we do this? No, don't attack. Stand there. 
Can you attack that? Oh, I see. It's a bit tougher than the other one. Fine. Fine, no bother. Still did nothing. Interesting. There we go. The doors of the main hall are down. What's this? A dog? Who let a dog in here? This is no way to run a professional outfit. We can't just have animals wandering in our camp. Oh, Turned into a bad boy. Oh, shut it, Fluffball. Oh dear. That's it. Everyone get in and help me fight this dog. Well, time to inspire. We gave the a woo. Gave the woo command. I'm not fluent in uh, what appears to be Labrador. I'm only fluent in Pomeranian. I'm fluent in little dog, not medium to medium to large dog. Oof. We weren't quite ready for that, Commander. I don't think they were ready for that though. I think they're gonna get surrounded now, aren't they? Feels bad, man. You'll have to be the backup. I think. Yeah, I thought the mines had it, Archer. No! Ooh, I wasn't expecting him to wipe the Archer out. It's fine. It's fine, we'll, we'll deal with it. Caesar will deal with it. Could have been worse. Yeah, we'll be alright. No, Papa. Okay, maybe not. I was hoping it wouldn't go for I was hoping. It's alright, it's alright. It's still good, it's still good. It's a little bit depleted, but it's still good, it's still good. Big crit on the cow horses. We call them horses. Or hows. Which one sounds better? Horses or hows? Ah! Oh. Needed a little bit more than that. Needed a lot more than that, actually. It's alright, it's alright. Weaken the forces. That's what I've been saying about in past episodes. If we weaken the forces, then they'll do less damage to us, but we'll do more damage to them, so... It, it'll be alright. Quite a little scratch animation. That should be game over now. I can't see him. Please. Mm. Oof. No, 
Where are these archers coming from? They've got some hidden ones I can't see. Oh no, they've only got two there. That's fine. You're right. Oh, they're retreating. That's fine. The good boy says that's fine. Trying to get our weaker units to take out. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, try and get our weaker units to take out something. Or at least weaken them a little bit. I'm really enjoying this game. Like I know, I know, I started playing it because it's got a dog in it, but it's like it's a really good game. Hey! If you're into your turn-based strategy, um, yeah, if you're into your turn-based strategy. Advanced Wars or Fire Oh my god he rolled over. What what a good boy. He knows all the tricks. Uh, what was I saying? What was, it, what was I saying? Yeah, if you like Advanced Wars or Fire Emblem then definitely check this game out. We're not doing so great at the minute, but Win. Yeah, they're not going to come with this now. Hopefully they'll do them and then we'll send the Caesar in to finish the job and end the mission. Oh man, you had one job. They haven't even got a sword. They haven't even got a sword. I was going to go for Caesar then. That one guy was one day away from the time. They best wipe them out. If they don't, I'm going to be fuming. Somebody's not getting paid today. Caesar's going to take their bean treats. I trust Caesar more than I trust them. Them unit, that unit, them unit, that unit. There we go. Uh, should have known we. Should have known we couldn't take such a majestic hound. See, even he knows he's a majestic boy. Look at the, ma the majesty just like sparkling off him. Thank you so much. In the dark. At least give the heckin' good boy a pet. <laughs> there you are, Caesar. What are you doing in this old fort? Good boy. She said it all. Such a good boy. Wow, I'm surprised that was a B. I'm surprised that was a B. Look at him, he just looks look at him, he just looks majestic. You can now play Caesar in arcade. Sweet. I'd like to do some law about Caesar. Part, part of me wants to read that. That's the end of that. So, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave this heckin' good boy a like. And we shall be back in the next episode of Wargroove. Until then, bye!